you have many options in adding job overhead to the uh, estimating cost. And one way is, of course, in the tree view and using your indirect bid items. And you can incorporate even your home office costs in an indirect bid item. You can also indi you know, indicate all your special insurances, your GNL. Uh, all these things could be incorporated into indirect costs. And of course, it'll be spread when you come to your bid summary based on your spread instructions here. Another option is to use the add-ons. Now, some companies will, in their markup, have both their office, their home office overhead, or their general overhead built in the markup. And sometimes that's, that might not be a good idea because you don't know where your markup ends and your home office overhead begins. So you might want to confine this to be the actual markup. And then in the add-ons, put the home office overhead to separate the two. So if you're ever in a situation where you are having to, to uh, drop your job in order to get the job, decrease your markup, you know you're not affecting your home office overhead because that's a fixed cost that you have as a company. So here's my markup. Let's say this is my markup. This is actual over and above my home office overhead. And then on the add-ons, I can create an entry here based on job value or direct labor, however you want to figure your home office overhead, and put that at a certain percentage, whatever you have determined that would satisfy the home office overhead for the year, and that would be a cost. Here's another entry, uh, GNL, and that would be total. I did this on total labor. A lot of times GNL is based on total labor, or even could be direct labor. And that's another way that you can get your costs if that's not already incorporated into your indirects. So these are add-ons that will come after the markup here. These are not these add-ons are not marked up. For instance, here's my average markup, 10.3%. These add-ons are not marked up with this screen right here. They come after this screen. And then if I go ahead and run my spread required. There's my add-ons right there. So that is one reason that we do add-ons, so that you can add additional costs and markup after the actual markup percentage here and separate those costs here in the add-ons. Now, the, uh, you can see this right here. There's the add-ons. I can also see the calculations, add-ons calculations. There's the totals right there. And I can also see the, back here, I can see the add-ons and spread. Those are the, how the four options that I can have to actually spread those add-ons back to my direct bid items. For instance, I can do a total less sub, or maybe I just want to spread it back on labor, and now they'll be spread based on a percentage of labor. So if I go to my pricing screen, to my add-ons, there's my add-on column, and there's how those add-ons distributed to each one of these prices in on my bid form. If I want to look at it another way, I can go down to statistics, and I can see it being built right here, all the costs, and there's my add-ons and bonds, the unit and the total that incorporated into bid item 60. So that way you can see how these add-ons are distributed to the bid items.